This week's video is going to be pretty chilled out. I'm going to be making an enclosure and introducing you to my new colony. A colony of isopods or woodlice. This is a woodlouse. One of many I have in this holding container. They actually go by many names. Pillbugs, sobugs, isopods, woodlice, roly-polies, etc. They are super cute. What do you call these creatures? Leave it down in the comments. My plan is to house them inside this cup until the colony grows. So let's set it up. I included many layers of organic matter which isopods eat and substrate in the enclosure as well as some wooden hiding places since they prefer darkness. Now let's put them in, shall we? There are isopods of all ages in this holding container. There's also an earwig in there. Regardless, I started the housing process, taking the container and turning it to its side. There are the isopods. One of them really wants to go in. It plops inside and I finally dumped all the other isopods inside their setup. Here's a little fact file for you. Isopods are crustaceans related to crabs and lobsters. There are more than 10,000 species of isopods. Some of them live on land like this one and some species live in water and some even parasitize fish. And did you guys know that the largest isopod species are nearly half a meter long? That's impressive. The ones which I own over here are decomposers in ecosystems, feasting on organic matter and used by us hobbyists as cleanup crews in enclosures. It is wonderful to witness the little interactions in nature going on just beneath us. If we can look upon this overlooked world, then we can truly come to appreciate the world of invertebrates. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this chilled out video. If you like wood lice and find them cute, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. If you are interested in all things invertebrate biology, then be sure to give ABSE a subscribe. Turn on notifications so as to not miss any other biological uploads. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.